So the third type of irrigation system we use at the farm is furrow irrigation that we use a gated pipe to put the water into the furrows. These gated pipes are six inches in diameter and they can be 20 feet long, 30 feet long. And every 30 inches along the gated pipe, there's a gate, uh, an opening that lets the water out and you can open and close and adjust the size of the opening for the amount of water that you wanna put into the furrow. Each one of those gates can put out about, uh, depending on how open they are, they can put out as much as 16 gallons a minute out of each gate. We usually have a gate every 60 inches, so we're gonna put out 64 gallons a minute onto our field to do uh, basically three beds. This farm has been leveled to grade. There's a laser level machine that comes out and perfectly makes your field have uh, maybe a 1% grade. So the water flows downhill. That's an important concept in furrow irrigation. Um, but it doesn't, but you don't want it to flow downhill very fast. So I'm gonna open this up. and the gated pipe is gonna to start to fill up. So now we have water coming out of each of the gates and it's headed down the furrow. And I've uh, shoveled dirt on the backside of the, of the pipe so the water for sure is only gonna flow in one direction, which is, which is downhill. And the, uh, the water will flow to the end of the row and then I'll turn the volume down and let it percolate across into the beds. This whole process, depending on the length of the field and what kind of soil you have, could take several hours to get to the end and irrigate the whole field. It is less precise, clearly, because there's more water at the beginning of the field. More water is going to work its way down into the soil at this end of the field. But hopefully you get it um, down to the end pretty quickly, and then you get a more even distribution of water. So you might think that this system would grow more weeds, but it turns out that because it's only putting water in the furrow, the weeds are only gonna grow in the furrow, and it's fairly easy with the tractor cultivation system to cultivate the furrows. So often with this system, it's actually easier to control weeds with this system than it is with, uh, with the sprinkler system, which is putting water all over the place. So one of the reasons we're not putting water uh, down the middle furrow is that the middle furrow is softer than the outside furrows. The outside furrows are where we have driven the tractor. And so it's been compacted. And what that means is that the water doesn't penetrate down straight down into the furrow. It's actually forced to go off to the sides. When you run water down the center furrow, the water penetrates right into the furrow and it can take a very long time to get to the end of the bed because the, uh, the water penetrates so much better where you haven't driven the tractor. The system uses a lot of water and it puts a lot of water deep. So it's important to only use really on crops that are deep rooted and can take advantage of the fact that you're putting a lot of water into the ground. And with those kinds of crops, you don't have to irrigate very often. If with the drip system we were irrigating every day or every other day and with the sprinkler system with those uh, direct seeded crops if we were irrigating every day with this furrow system you might only irrigate every 10 days or every two weeks depending on uh, the soil type and the weather at the time how much evapotranspiration there is. This is uh, an ancient system it functions pretty well it uses a lot of water and so in times of drought, it isn't something that uh, uh, people are inclined to use. But there's a certain charm to this of water running down a furrow.